My name is Arthur Dukes. I work for Nova Scotia Power Wiring Inspections. There's three stages to an inspection process. That's the rough in stage. Uh, that's normally things that are uh, viewed prior to cover, i.e. walls, uh, service trenches, that type of thing. Uh, then there's the service inspection, uh, which encompasses the, the service work, uh, installing the electrical panel, the metering equipment, uh, and the connection to the home. And then there's the final uh, inspection, which is basically an overview of uh, the safety devices within the home and ensure that everything is capped off and in a safe manner. Um, you know, and it would be good for the, the homeowner to be uh, in on that process so that they're aware of the different stages of development uh, as their, their construction progresses uh, so that things don't get missed. In a renovation process, uh, normally it would be the same three inspection processes. However, it depends upon the size of the renovation itself. If the renovation encompasses the service work or upgrading of the service, then there would be a service inspection in there somewhere. Um, however, if it's just a small addition, i.e. a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, uh, that type of thing, it would normally be the rough-in inspection and then the final inspection. It's important to choose a certified electrician to do your install. Uh, a certified electrician is a person who's received a certificate of qualification that's administered by the Department of Labor and Advanced Education. And basically it states that they've completed their apprenticeship and they're now a journeyman electrician. You could ask the electrician to see his card. And uh, as a matter of fact, I can show you a card if you'd like to see one. Uh, so you know what, uh, what it is to look for. And as you can see, it is a picture ID. So it has the contractor's picture as well as the expiration date on there. And a contractor who's a valid contractor should possess this card. You should, uh, you should check your contractor out. You should ask your contractor for references on your jobs and follow up your job references. Uh, as well, you should be asking your contractor uh, for proof of uh, liability insurance as well as workers' compensation coverage. Um, and they should be able to produce that documentation in relatively short order. You know, it should not be uh, somebody that you just randomly pick. You need to develop a comfort level uh, with who it is who's doing the work for you. This is your residence. This is where you're going to live and uh, where you're going to raise your family and uh, you're going to want it safe. The final inspection is a, a critical uh, point. Uh, basically, the final is when we go over all the safety uh, within the household uh, to make sure that everything is capped off, GFI protection is installed at exterior outlets and within 1.5 meters of sinks where it's supposed to be. Arc fault protection is present in bedrooms. Uh, smoke detectors are installed and operating. Basically a safety overview. Nova Scotia Power has recently made some changes to their final inspection process uh, whereby we've come up with an inspection sticker and it's a final inspection sticker that's applied to new installations at the panel board once the final has been completed and accepted. Uh, so the homeowner should be uh, readily able to go down, check his panel and there should be a sticker indicating the permit number and that the final has been completed and accepted on his panel. If an inspection failed, um, the installation or a part of the installation would be turned down or refused. Uh, the contractor would have to address the deficiencies and then have a re-inspection for the work to progress. It would be safe to move into your home once all the final inspections have been completed. Uh, not only the, uh, the building inspection and the issuance of the occupancy permit, but the electrical inspection as well should be completed prior to moving into your residence.